I was almost in stage 5 before starting to follow your channel on YouTube. My doctor told me to start preparing for a transplant. Then I found out about this remedy and everything changed. I'm in stage 3 now. Catherine here, in today's video, I'm going to feature the amazing story of Joe. He was approaching stage 5 of kidney disease fast and his doctor told him to prepare for dialysis. But in just 12 weeks, his EGFR went from 28 back to 48, his creatinine dropped from 4.2 to 2.6 and his blood pressure dropped consistently by 10 points, allowing him to reduce his blood pressure medication. He is no longer looking at having a kidney transplant now. And guys, in this video, I also want to share with you what the best steps are to treat kidney disease in all the stages. Talking to Joe was quite the eye-opener for me about what really matters for new patients and today I want to show you all those things that worked the best for him. I'll use his example to show you what the best treatments for each stage of kidney disease are. I was almost in stage 5 before starting to follow your channel on YouTube. My doctor told me to start preparing for a transplant. There are many things I wish I knew earlier. I want to tell everyone with CKD, don't trust blindly whatever a doctor tells you. Do your own research. If you would have been diagnosed with CKD stage 3 today, your doctor will probably tell you there is nothing you can do. Kidney disease only goes one direction. We just have to wait and monitor how fast it goes. Well, is it true that CKD only goes in one direction? Here's what Joe says about it. When I was 39, I was just starting my own business and I was working all day. I always had high blood pressure and basically shelved some results that I shouldn't have shelved. Stage 3 CKD, which didn't mean anything to me. My doctor basically told me not to worry, to test and to keep an eye on it, but there is nothing you can do for stage 3 CKD. My reaction after this email was to ask him one question. After discovering that you can actually do something for CKD, do you think that your doctor should have told you something different? Oh yes, learning more about kidney health changed my life. Most of all, I wish I learned about the treatment and supplements that saved my kidneys a little bit earlier. You know the... Okay, okay guys, I'll show you what treatment changed his life and restored 20 points of GFR from stage 4 to stage 3 in the next part of the video. But first, I want to address one thing. Is waiting the only thing you can do about CKD? Nope, not at all. Actually, not doing anything about chronic kidney disease, which is strongly advised by many doctors, is the worst thing you can do. Fact. Kidney disease requires a special diet and treatments to slow it down. And this can be done. I've seen it personally so many times. This is why today we will focus on three different stages of kidney disease and on how to reverse them. We will see what really matters in each stage and also what treatment and remedies help Joe achieve his incredible result. Question. What should you do if you get diagnosed with CKD stage 1 or 2? If you have CKD in stage 1, means that your kidneys are still working almost perfectly. Stage 2 is similar. Some patients will have symptoms here if they also suffer from proteinuria. Proteinuria is a condition in which the kidneys cannot filter protein and this protein end up in the urine. It can form a foam on top of the urine, which can be a sign of kidney damage. Stage 1 and 2 are almost always diagnosed because kidney damage shows up in an ultrasound, CD scan or MRI. The recommendation in these stages is just one, focus on your whole body health. Eat healthy, avoid bad habits and start exercising regularly if you aren't already. Question: What should you do if you get diagnosed in stage 3? Now, in stage 3, things get more complicated. Symptoms are now gonna be present including swelling, fatigue and more visible changes in the urination patterns. Good news is that you can still reverse kidney disease and get your kidney function back in stage 3. What is the best 
strategy to achieve this in stage 3 of CED? In stage 3, we will have to focus on two things. First is overall health or heart health, as some like to call it, which means improving your lifestyle, avoiding the bad habits that are causing problems to the kidneys. Fact. Metabolic conditions and lifestyle diseases are always going to cause kidney damage. You need to completely stop them if you want your kidney to improve. What can really help here is limiting sodium in the diet, protein intake, yes, already in stage 3, and also completely removing junk food from the diet. Those with diabetes are also advised to limit or completely remove sugar and high glycemic index foods. In stage 3, it's all about stopping what's causing the damage. What is actually causing kidney disease? For Joe, it is high blood pressure. Let's take a look at this infographic. Here we can see two big slices that account for 70% of all the cases of CAD, type 2 diabetes and high blood pressure. These are our two main enemies. But there are many other causes that may make a correct diagnosis harder to make. We can see here glomerular disease that also includes IgA nephropathy but also hereditary diseases such as polycystic kidney disease and then nephritis that are inflammatory conditions. There are still a lot of cases that are not caused by these more common causes and as we can see 4% of cases are of unknown origin. I suspect that there are many more cases that are misdiagnosed. What this means is that you should do all you can to be 100% sure that you know what's causing your problem. Consult a nephrologist and do all the tests they prescribe you. Question: What are the best remedies in stage 3 of CAD? As I was saying, if you get diagnosed in stage 3, your best course of action is to deal with the causes of kidney disease. Now, high blood pressure here is not just a cause, it's also a consequence of CAD. This is why almost every single patient will have to deal with high blood pressure. You really want to keep your blood pressure under 130 over 80 if you have CAD. In stage 3, there is a remedy that can totally make a difference and that can also greatly decrease your need for blood pressure medications. This is the only natural remedy actually proven to lower blood pressure by 11 over 5 mm of mercury. Garlic. Garlic can lower blood pressure more effectively than prescription medications. It's an incredible remedy. Garlic also helps with many known causes of kidney damage, including inflammation and high cholesterol levels. Making garlic a part of your health routine is very, very easy and very safe. The trick is to chop it 5 to 10 minutes before consuming it. Now guys, if you want to know more and also to see a very easy way to incorporate garlic into a healthy and tasty blood pressure lowering smoothie, yes, a smoothie, watch my video up here. But as I was saying, most people have kidney disease due to diabetes. It's clear that we need to address that, especially in stage 3. So what's the best remedy for diabetes? This natural compound you see here is considered by some the most powerful remedy on earth. It protects the kidneys because it can significantly lower blood pressure while also helping with cholesterol levels and making you lose weight. But most of all is proven to lower diabetes markers such as blood sugar levels and HbA1c as efficiently as medications but without side effects. This is Berberine. Berberine is extremely powerful against diabetes. Now here's something really special about berberine. This is the only remedy in the world that can actually make you lose weight. Many remedies are supposed to make you lose weight, but berberine is the only one that's actually proven to do that. In this study, obese people took berberine and they went from obese to overweight in only 3 months. Now, this is not a remedy you should take without getting informed though. I've made a whole video to show you how to maximize the benefits from this remedy. It's up here if you have missed it. Now guys, before I'll show you the best tips and remedies to stop or reverse kidney disease in stage 4 and 5, a very important question. Will I know if I have kidney disease? Not until it is advanced. 
What many people don't know is that the kidneys will do their job just fine up until stage 3a of CKD, even 3b in some cases. This is why kidney disease is considered a silent disease. Here's what Joss says about it. I carried on with my life because I felt well enough. Until such time, I just didn't feel myself and was struggling to get through the day. I was very lethargic, I had lack of energy, I was often a little bit dizzy. This was all caused by anemia, which was later found out. But yeah, just didn't feel myself. Frankly, I wish I knew about anemia earlier. Thank you, Joe. Yes, stage 4 also comes with complications. These are health conditions that are caused by kidney disease and that may adversely affect the outcome of the disease. Complications should always be dealt with as soon as they present. Just like for kidney disease, if you start to have symptoms of anemia, for example, don't wait. Just like Joe says, get informed and take action, don't wait. A very important question, what are the symptoms of CKD stage 4? With CKD stage 4, we are talking about a severe loss of kidney function. This means that symptoms are going to be very noticeable and they will need to be managed. Most common symptoms include fluid retention, swelling or edema, and shortness of breath. Urination changes are usually present too. Kidney pain is also common and patients may also face sleep problems due to muscle cramps or restless legs. Guys, remember that there is still hope in stage 4 of CKD. You can still get better if you do take care of your heart and kidney health. Question, what are the best treatments for stage 4? With CKD in stage 4, regular blood tests to check for hemoglobin, creatinine, calcium and phosphorus levels will be scheduled. Complications will need to be dealt with the diet but also with specific treatments. There will be significant changes in the renal diet now. A patient will still need to limit sodium and phosphorus like in stage 3 but now potassium will become also important to manage. What many people don't know is that in stage 4, the diet is not just a tool to avoid or delay complications. It can also be used to actually make things better. Fact: Many CKD patients in stage 4 got an improvement in kidney function when they started a special diet. And this includes Joe. Let's hear what he says about this diet. I started the diet 12 weeks ago and after a few weeks, I started feeling better already. Recently, on Friday, I did a full day's work where I didn't feel tired throughout the day for the first time in years and it was quite a full-on day. Most importantly, my GFR is not declining anymore. It's finally improving. That's why I want to tell everyone with CKD to do your research. Don't believe what a doctor tells you. There is a wealth of knowledge just on the internet, but you need to do your own part and never stop believing that you can do it. Thank you very much, Joe. This is really inspiring. So time now to see what helped Joe the most in reversing kidney disease. This is a dietary approach that can really restore the health of your kidneys according to science. This is the VLPD treatment. VLPD stands for Very Low Protein Diet, a special treatment that every single patient in the advanced stages of kidney disease should be following. The VLPD treatment has been used on thousands of CKD patients and science has pretty solid data on it. In two words, it works. Protein metabolism is known to cause more damage to the kidneys than anything else. This is why Joe has an amazing result with it. This dietary approach is very restrictive and also needs to be followed by the use of a special remedy called keto analogs. Joe is taking 14 grams three times a day of this remedy and it's really helping him, as we have seen. 
Now guys, the very low protein treatment is a very big topic and I've made a whole video about it. It's up here if you want to watch it and this is all for today. Thank you for watching.